Baker Shed Diary, 17th of March, 24. Mallory, and it's wet. Just about to go to noise testing. Noise testing, finally. Noise testing done, I'm just going to go to the briefing now. Yeah, looks like the cafe's on the extension since last year. Oh, that's the briefing done. Time to get in my leathers. I've got two sets of leathers today. I've got a wet pair and a dry pair. Uh, it is now dry so fourth session today I went out and the track was drying um, I did about three or four laps but I was just destroying the rear tyres so I pulled in and then this afternoon I've booked to have an instructor at the, the 20 past 3 session afternoon sessions just starting uh, got a um, instructor session with Dean none other than Dean Ellison pretty super bike racer so we'll see how that goes. Speak to you later, bye bye. So I've just had the sixth, the second to last session. I uh, had an instructor, Dean Allison, the legend Dean Allison, a super rich super bike rider. Uh, gave me a few pointers on uh, what I can do better. Um, says I'm braking too hard, uh, so I need to brake break more gradually. And uh, he's told me how to use my feet better to be able to hang off the bike and get my body over um, so there's one more session the sun is out now it's beautiful um, and i my lap times have come down about a second from the last session so i'm pleased uh, i haven't quite got a personal best yet but I'll maybe i'll put that down to the temperature make sure diary 19th of march i'm just doing a bit of a, a debrief after the Mallory park track day um, I'm going to be putting my best lap at the end of the video so you can see the um, my fastest lap I did with Dean Ellison, uh, the instructor there. He says, uh, the, the two main points of feedback were he felt that I was braking too quickly, too, too hard, too quickly going into the con into the um, sharp braking points, particularly like the hairpin and Edwina's. Um, he says, oh, you, you're putting too much force on the forks on the bike. Uh, and that was borne out by the fork travel I could see I was using up 
a bit more on that later. Um, so he said to, to start breaking, um, even if you start breaking a bit earlier, but don't break so hard and progress progressively and further into the corner. And when you watch his video at the end where I'm following him, he has a, a road bike with the, with the brake lights on. So you'll be able to see in his brake lights um, how far into the corners that he braked. Um, particularly at Edwina's, I, I realised that I was getting off the brakes before I tipped into the left. Um, so he suggested to, I should be just leaving a little bit of trail braking on into there, put a bit of load on the front wheel and give some more grip. Um, overall I was a bit disappointed because um, I ended up my fastest lap was still about a second slower than I'd done last year. Um, possibly a few, few reasons for that. Um, that, you know it was september it was a lot warmer i'd already done quite a lot of laps around mallory that year and also um what has it been like six months since i've ridden a bike in anger on a track so i need to get back up to speed um so hopefully i'll be able to improve on that again oh i can't get over how knackered i was at the end of the day and how much i've been aching afterwards so i've been doing lots of physical training i've been trying i've lost a lot of weight i've been on on this bike turbo trainer like three hours three hours a week since january or so and um and i've been doing park runs and stuff i'm really getting quite fit but um i spent spent a day on the bike and i felt like i was run over the next day um so it really sort of helps to be bike fit yeah the other thing that uh, dean allison uh, said was um, a position on the bike so i off if you, if you uh, see some of the pictures I've probably put up, I do tend to ride sort of a bit old school and I'll get my, my bum over over into the corners but um, I struggle to get my, the rest of my upper body into into the cor corners uh, and he said it looks to me, to, it looked to him like I wasn't using my, my feet and my knees correctly to be able to grip the tank and therefore take the weight of my, my hands, my outside hand off the handlebar to give me some control to get over. So I'm looking at the position of my feet and I need to have my feet a bit further forward um, and uh, I'm going to move my pegs up slightly so that I've got more of a uh, potential to grip the tank. I'm going to get a new tank grip as well. So it's, it's all about being able to grip against the tank with your outside leg to then give you the movement in the upper body. So that's something to work on. Suspension. So I mentioned that uh, I've made some adjustments to my sus suspension since last year. Um, I've set up the uh, sag um, so that I had 25 millimeters of static sag and I think 30, 38 rider sag. Um, and um, I, the suspension did, did feel better. I did feel like um, I could change direction quicker. That was something I was struggling with, particularly at the bus stop at Mallory um, but um, so the suspension felt better but when I checked what travel I was using using the cable tie on the fork leg I was using every little bit of travel so um, I temp I uh, backed off uh, sorry I added a bit a bit more preload to give a few more mils and, and I could see that I was almost using all of the travel after that um, but uh, then chatting to one of the instructors there who was uh, uh, ex-champion on mini twins uh, he was talking about setting using the correct you know different oils and the um, air gap it, it makes a big difference to the fork dive so i'm going to um, probably get maybe get some heavier oil and reduce the air gap and i'm going to get some advice from folks on the mini twins forum before i'll go looking at springs because i've got a uh, a, a nine newton meter set of nine newton meter springs on mine um, and he says he was he's 14 stone and he has an 8.5 but he's dialed in the suspension suspension using the the oil and the air gap um, so i might uh, look at that before i go changing the springs so that's all for now for mega shed diaries i'll leave you with uh, my fastest slap with dean ellison mega shed out